Hey guys, Sock here from Sock Tech, and in today's video I'm going to talk about a secret feature on your Samsung One UI 2.0 device with Android 10. So I have a Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus right here running One UI 2.0 and a Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus also running a One UI 2.0 uh, with Android 10 as you can see. So let me talk about the hidden feature. So it has to do with the dark mode. So what you want to do is, let me show you something real quick. So if I launch system applications, as you can see, this is the regular non-dark mode. All right, so we have this one, we have the calculator. These are the system applications that do use the dark mode once you enable the dark mode. However, when you go into non-system applications, such as a random application, dictionary.com, that's not going to have dark mode when you enable the dark mode. So let's go over here, okay? Let's enable the dark mode. Let's go back out right over here. So when I go to the phone application, it's in the dark mode. When I go to the messages application, it's going to be in the dark mode. When I go into the calculator, it's going to be in the dark mode, which is normal. But when I go to my dictionary, it's not going to have dark mode, okay? So if, if it's the nighttime and you enable the dark mode to save your eyes from the extra bright white, then there's a problem. So when I launch, launch a, a shopping application that we do all the time, it's not going to be in dark mode. So that's a problem, right? So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to force the dark mode on all applications. And that's a feature that's hidden in the Samsung uh, Galaxy devices when One UI 2.0. So let me just disable this real quick, okay? So what you want to do is you want to go all the way down. And there's going to be a secret menu at the bottom here. What you want to do to enable that menu is go to About Phone, go to Software Information, and double tap on the bill number seven times, okay? Once you do that, it's going to ask you to pay your, put your PIN number in. So let me do that right now. And it says de developer mode has been turned on. So when I go back out, what, what I'm going to have here in the main menu is going to be a developer options setting. So when I tap on this one, I'm going to go all the way down, all right? Uh, not all the way, but almost. And I'm going to look for the force dark mode. Now this says force apps to use dark mode, even if not fully supported. This is a fantastic feature. So I'm going to enable this, okay? And right off the bat, it's not going to apply, okay? What you have to do is you have to actually enable the dark mode, but now it's going to enhance it further. So let's enable that, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch my phone, just like usual, I got the dark mode. By the way, same thing with the Samsung Galaxy uh, Note 10 Plus. All the way at the bottom, developer options, and you've got your... Uh, force dark mode at the bottom, okay? Uh, just so you know. So over here, I'm just using this to demonstrate. So now, if I launch this, again, we got the dark mode, that's a system app. So now when I even launch the dictionary app, it's gonna have the dark mode. That's absolutely fantastic uh, for nighttime viewing. So let me go to the weather channel. Fantastic, we've got a we've got a dark mode, and this is an intelligent dark mode. It's not like uh, it just inverts the colors. It's highly intelligent, as you can see, it is applying it very intelligently. So let me just launch one of these uh, banking applications. Boom, take a look at that. Intelligent dark mode application. And then if I go to the shopping application right over here, uh, let's just go to Amazon. Boom, you've got the dark mode. So it's gonna be easy on the eyes at the night time. So that's a hidden feature in the Samsung Galaxy Note 10, in the Samsung Galaxy S10 running One UI 2.0 with Android 10. All right, so if you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know. And for now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button. And also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.